Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, another little thing that I wanted to talk about and also answer the questions that people have been asking about Windows updates. So the first observation is a lot of you. And, you know, that's why I hate the way Microsoft often uses the words to describe certain things. A lot of you seeing preview thought that these updates were not official updates. They were kind of preview or beta updates, which is not the case. Preview updates are just a word that they use to say that it's not security. It's stupid to use that word, but, you know, Microsoft isn't clear. It's never clear for anything. It's always complicated. Now, um, one of the things that a lot of you also have said is that you put aside certain updates. And I want to remind everybody, and in Windows 11, it's still the same thing. When you go to, uh, if you ignore an update that is a preview update, what happens is that update, it's still going to be installed on your machine. But when you get Patch Tuesday security updates. In Windows 11, they kept the same way of working of Windows 10. It's that cumulative updates will install all the cumulative updates that are missing up to that point that you're installing updates. So if you go into updates and you basically uh, decide that you're not going to install um, a preview update uh, like this, for example, well, what's going to happen is that a preview update is still going to install itself with the next Patch Tuesday updates. So if you see a preview update, well, even if you ignore it, it's going to install at the next patch Tuesday. That's why when you look at the version that you have, you, after a patch Tuesday update, have the same build number. If you were missing updates, you will not be at the same build number for Windows. So that's why everybody's at the same update or same build number once you get patched Tuesday security updates simply because it installs the preview updates before installing the security updates um, and that is the way cumulative update works it's uh, there's one negative side to this is that if a preview update breaks something well when you get patch Tuesday updates unless they fixed it you're going to have a broken something again because it's going to install it anyways. So that's why some people sometimes will actually just um, make sure that, you know, you can't um, install updates for a certain time. They will delay when in updates are going to actually be installed. So there's, you know, it's not, it's, it's a nice way of updating in a way because it's so much better than Windows 7 ever was in Windows Update, which was a big mess. Any tech guy that had to reinstall Windows Update will tell you how, you know, unless you created those um, images with updates already there, but it was so complicated and there's so many things. Cumulative Updates actually fixed that, but they still have a flaw that should be fixed. Is that if you do not want a certain preview update, they should actually be separate updates that aren't forced on you with each patch Tuesday. That would be a better way of working, actually. For the rest, um, a lot of you are asking uh, questions about uh, if the Patch Tuesday updates on Windows 11 are the same as the ones on Windows 10. Do they have the same fixes? Pretty much, because the core of Windows is very similar. So most of the bugs are actually both on Windows 11 and Windows uh, 10 in the... Uh, Patch Tuesday security updates actually even goes further back. That's why using Windows 7 is not a good idea. A lot of the shared code that Windows 7 also has also suffers from a lot of the flaws that are discovered in Windows 10 and in Windows 11. So it even goes back further than that. Apart from that, um, a lot of you are like, well, you know, preview updates, uh, I leave them alone. I don't install them. You don't have to install them, especially when you don't have any problems because, you know, just wait and they'll be installed automatically anyways 
when you get to Patch Tuesday security updates. So these were a little bit more explanation for uh, all of you um, wondering about the Windows updates on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.